This is the kind of morning that hunters like to see on opening day. Sun is coming up. It looks like we're going to have blue skies. The temperature is about 9 degrees. A couple inches of snow on the ground. This is November 15th, 1996. Opening day of deer season in Michigan. Well, it's Thursday night for you, but we're going to bring you the full report. It's time for the Practical Sportsman. If you're the type of person that likes peace and quiet, you ought to come deer hunting with me. <laughs> hey. Yes, John Ford and I can, can treat you to a peaceful opening day. No interruptions from deer, all the normal <laughs> things you look for. It has been a terribly quiet opener. We've been sitting here now, I mean almost, yeah, it's quarter to nine, so we've been sitting here over two hours. Yeah, I can't say that we've seen nothing. There's trees. We did see a couple of birds about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> they flew over. Uh, and, you know, I, at times like this, you think of different inventions. You know, you're really glad. We have it. In fact, right here, it's cold out. Very cold. I mean, nine degrees. This heater is really key in this blind. I don't care what anybody says. I wouldn't have lasted too long. You wouldn't either sitting out on a stump in weather like this. I mean, it's really cold. But in here, we're warm. And uh, I thought of a great idea. I tend to nod off sometimes when it gets a little slow. Yes, so I thought of, of wearing a, a deer hunter's helmet that would have Velcro on it, and you could put Velcro on the side of the blind so you could stick your, <laughs> hold your head up, stick your head up like that. But anyway, no, I mean, this is fun. It's it's. The deer can come by most any time. Now this spot that we're at, we're up around Petoskey. Oh, there is a deer, John, John. Right out there, right out there, I'll be darned. Um, you're, you're looking towards it right now. You see it, it's like its tail. It's right up, now it's coming, it's coming right past those dark trees. You see it? Okay. Okay, you see it, it's starting to run. No, it's uh, that could be a buck up in there. It's crossing back. I'll be darned. Now this is absolutely amazing. We wait two and a half or two hours to do a report. It's right up in the tree. Okay. Yeah, you'd have a tough time seeing it with the camera. It's walking back and forth. Makes me think it's a buck. I don't. I was just about to tell you why we're hunting in this spot. This is really a key blind. Paul Keysweater owns the property here. We've hunted here before. We come for a, an annual dinner on the eve of opening day. And, well, we might as well cut to it now because that deer is monkeying around up there. But last night we came out to the blind and he explained, uh, we talked about why this is such a good spot. And that, that this is the narrowest spot here between this swamp and the high ground. So they tend to, to funnel here to run across. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, taking advantage of that cover. Mm -hmm. And for sure you'll, you'll see another buck, they'll come right up and down that fence line. I'm gonna crank my scope up to nine power and see if I can't. Yes, he is a spike. On the right side he has, I'd say an inch. Yeah, that's what it looks like yep. Me. Little teeny spikes. But you know, I do have a restriction, John. I can't shoot just any buck. That's right. No, no, no. This this is private property here. The man is the landowner, and he has certain rules that go with hunting in this blind. They're kind of uh, stringent rules, too. The last four years we've had uh, one 11 point, uh, two tens, and an eight. Wow. And uh, well, what is the trend? Was it 11, two tens, and eight? I mean, are we going down? A, yeah, or? you're right. Very astute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and last year we let uh, uh, six bucks go, young guys, uh, mm -hmm. under under six points. Uh, now, what are the rules here? 
<clears throat> on this blind. Go ahead, lay it on me. Lay um, it on me. Go ahead, uh, give me the, the rules. The, the, the rules basically are we like to shoot something eight and above and let the little spikes go. Okay. If you see something that's uh, a small eight uh, and you get too excited and you, you can't control yourself, you don't. we don't shoot you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, little spikes, we let them go. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll refrain and just go for the big boys. So that's the rule. I mean, am I crazy? Eight points or bigger? I, I think I've seen an eight point buck. In fact, John, remember when we were down in, where was that? That was at uh, Mickey Mike's house. Mm -hmm. That was the famous broken leg time that that, that buck, uh, the scope was a little fuzzy. That I think was an eight point, but I, I've never had an eight point in my sights before. So that's, that sounds like a pretty tall order to me. But here's the point, Paul owns the land. The landowner has rights. He lets people come and hunt. He can set the rules. And with this blind and this key location, that's the rule. So <laughs> we obey. That's the way it should be. Does and fawns heading for the bait pile. Uh-oh, they're looking three of them down that way. That's a good sign. Come on, buck. Excellent decoys. Can, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. But well, it's, it's right on the edge. Yeah, I got it. Okay, this is deer number five. Uh, antler. Okay, it's that little. It's that little buck with the one antler. You want me to pull this window down, or you don't? Yes, please. Look, he just sniffed the ground. He didn't even stop at the bait. He's just tracking those other does like, like he's going to do anything about it right. Hi there. Those deer have cleared the frame, as we say in the business, and Johnny, right down here, this, this salsa that we got, <laughs> not to change the subject greatly, but uh, the salsa we got was frozen solid this morning. We left it in the truck. Listen to that. Decent salsa. So while the deer are on the break, I'm going to take the jalapeno bean dip, put it down by the heater. It was frozen too. Now here's a tip. Never take a bag of chips hunting in a blind. I'll, I'll tell you why. Well, I'll show you why. I'm gonna cut the top of that off. Not to mention this. Oh well. Now this is warm salsa. It's just a medium type. Boy, I'm glad we didn't go for the hot. We would have been in trouble. It's good, though. Might have to go out and eat some snow. <laughs> this is hot. This isn't medium. Whoa. That's a buck. Is that a buck? Yep. How big a buck? OK, that, that's what was chasing those other three. He stopped at the end of the field. Yep. He might be coming this way. Oh, he just jumped the fence. No, he's gone. I don't see him. There he is. Walking. Oh, yeah. That's a little buck. I think it's a spike or a fork. This has been regular, fairly regular activity here in the last, since five o'clock. It's trailing. Okay, that, that is a little buck, and that's about a four point. Oh, there he, okay. Now he's, he's definitely tracking the doe. You can see his antlers there. They're, 
Oh, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, it's going, it's going. See, there was a doe that just ran up there like about a minute ago. Yeah, it's right in front of him. He sees her, there she goes. Well, there's gonna be a little rendezvous there. That's what's been going on. Bucks are chasing the does. <laughs> well, he's gonna be on her trail. She's probably coming in heat sometime. If she isn't right now, she will be in an hour or so, and he's gonna be on her trail. Not gonna give her any, any time to herself. But, you know, we still have, you now we just have a few minutes of shooting before official shooting hours close. There's plenty of light. You never can tell. Hey, this has been a good day, dude. I know. <laughs> it's I really, been. this has been fun. Comfortable, fun, a lot of, lot of deer. Day two, the 1996 firearm deer season, almost a duplicate of yesterday, as far as the weather goes, except for one major difference. We're talking about a temperature that's probably 20, yeah, 20 degrees warmer. It makes a world of difference. Sitting here, we don't have to have the heater on. The woods are very, very quiet. As far as the wind, very still. But this morning is the morning. We're going to get a buck, Johnny. Mm -hmm. We're going to get an eight-point buck. The lawyer's method. Explain that in a little bit. <laughs> We've been working on this all night. It's a four-point. He's going to go. Let me know when. You ready? Dumped him right there. Shoulder shot. That was perfect. That was perfect. Oh, that was easy. Yep. After all day and this morning. Oh man, it's weird. I can't. I can't explain it. It's weird. After shooting a deer. Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> no, I feel darn good. No, that's a, that's a, well, it's a, I said it's a four point. Okay. I got some explaining to do back at camp. I got some special permission from Paul Keysweater. He said, if I can justify on some legal basis or some argument that, that the buck really is an eight point in some manner, I can shoot one that doesn't have eight tines. I got that all taken care of. <laughs> we'll take care of that back at camp. <laughs> oh, dude, this is great. It's right down there. <clears throat> That's the way I like to do it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Johnny. We need a high five on this one. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. I think this is, oh, this looks like it might be a five point. Maybe a six. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm almost in the clear. This will be easier to justify. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I'd like to get down here. Sorry, folks, my back is killing me. Still got my belt on. Tell you what, oh, I'm this is. Around this way. Oh. So the sun's hitting you and the deer. Oh, man. Of course, now I'm making you get up again, aren't I? <laughs> you know, I've had some hunting trips with a lot of adversity. I've hunted with a broken leg, broken ribs on oh, my back. Oh, this is, this is a nice little six point. Oh yeah. Oh good, and it isn't so old and big that it's gonna be tough. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good eating. Well, Johnny, I'm gonna have to ask you to do something for me. <laughs> I owe you a field dressing. Yes, indeed. If you'll do this, because really I, oh, I'm not faking this. Although it wouldn't be a bad ploy. <laughs> oh, man. Now, this isn't going to come off. Stick it to itself and stuck to the antler. 
There we go. Or hold it, is there something in there? Holy smokes. Oh, there. I'll be darned. Well, well what do we have here? Oh, what? Oh, nice. Look at that. Hiding something on us. Huh? Hiding something on us. Look at that. shot, too. All right. So what is it? It looks like a six with two ears. So is that a total of eight? <laughs> <laughs> no, hold it. You gave me specific instructions. No. What did you say? It has to be a, a what? A good eight? Isn't that a what he said? A good eight? I think you said a good eight. A good eight. I said after dinner? I can do it. <laughs> no, you dinner. said you said you amended, and you said that if I could justify it through a legal loophole. Yes, right. We talked Which about that. Is? Well, why don't we, do you want to hang it up? Yeah, let's hang this up. Let's hang it up, and, uh, and I will prepare my case. Now here it is. Here we have the, the issue, the legal issue in question. We have a buck here, which I think is, is a good eight. This also is reported to be, I suppose, by most people, the ideal eight. Eight meaning one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight antler tines. Now, this does not appear to have a full complement of eight antler tines. But the question is, is it still a good eight? Is that possible? Are you going to give me a chance to argue this? This, well, this be the landowner, the man who set the rules? We have to listen. We're, we're definitely listening. We'll, well listen. Well, you, you gave me the, the responsibility here that, that I could take one if I could make a good legal argument through a loophole or whatever. Let's hear it. Okay. <laughs> I, I have the top ten ways that this is a good eight, eight or better. Now, the first one being, mind you, the way to normally score a buck might be the Boone and Crockett method. That sounds good. Now, Boone and Crockett method has points. They've been around, yes. They have points, okay. Now, what they would do is they would count the, the, the antler tines. Yes. They would measure the length of the beams. Right. They would take circumferences. Right. They would add them all up. Right. We got at least eight. Boone and Crockett, <laughs> don't the, we? The Boone and Crockett, yes, yes. Now, you, you okay. hit eight. You hit okay, eight on I the hit eight. The, saf <laughs> the safari club scoring system, much the same way, except there's no is this deductions. Number two? No. That's number, number two. two Number three is the practical sportsman method, the old Morton F method of scoring. We take six antler points plus the inside spread. We got us a good eight, don't we? Yes, all beyond Okay, you. now, we do, I do, I, I have come up with ten methods here just in case this is a hard sell jury. Now we have the rack, we have the rack potential. Now if we judge this animal by its size, muscles, skeleton, uh, uh, could it support an eight or 10 or 12 point rack. <laughs> could it, the could it carry it around? Uh, musculature, I think, I think uh, it okay. could. Okay, then by the potential yeah. rack method, we have a good eight. Now we also have a chronological total. Uh, we have seen, John, bear me out on this. We, have, we saw starting off like a, like a, a two point. Uh, we saw four point, we saw maybe a six. We, we were up, by the time we saw this, we had seen, identified at least 16 points. This pushed us over the 20 point. Observation point. Yes, <laughs> if we're counting chronological <laughs> points. Okay, so this is this will qualify. Now, also, you take a buck like this. Now, it's wearing six antler points today, correct? Yes. Okay, but this buck last year undoubtedly wore probably four. That's true. Uh huh. Yeah. And before that, it had probably two, a button two. or a spike. You see, this buck has probably had 12 points on its head. 
So I'd say by that. You mean they're just down in his head now? No, 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 no. <laughs> they're they're on the ground in the woods. <laughs> I see, I see. But that's a that's a, we're talking the 10, cumulative. 12 points. The cumulative. Right. Cumulative. cumulative. Oh, okay. The cumulative. Now we, we also have the alternate spelling slash purpose method. Now you're probably thinking of eight as e i g h t, rightfully so. But eight can also be spelled a t e. Now with, within one year, it's safe to say that I will have ate this deer. <laughs> <laughs> and so the consumption, the, the consumption culinary. test, the consumption, and that's going to be a good eight. That's a good eight right there. Now we only have three methods left, but I think they're they're fairly persuasive. One I would call the government deficit method of scoring the points. This would be interesting. Well, well no, be no. Now this now. is no. This applies to me. You you gave me the rule that I yeah. could only take eight or better, and just say you want to count the tines you know, of which I don't think that's a real valid method to do it. But say you want to do that. This has six. I'm too short. So what would the government do? We declare a deficit, right? right? So I have a deficit for this year. We'll roll it into next year. Next year, I'll have to shoot 10 points, right? 10. OK, but truly, a, a true government method, you can roll over year after year after year. I mean, I could you, conceivably. It could be 100. I could get it up to 100 <laughs> by the government defi deficit <laughs> method of, of eight points. <laughs> so this is actually a good eight point if we include the, the deficit method. Now, there's two more methods. One, in fact, we can see right here with this uh, more traditional eight. We have the beauty contest method, OK? The beauty contest oh. method, take it from Miss America, wherever you want, uh, confirmation, proportion. I'd give it a point on that, wouldn't you? What do you guys think? Huh? Close. Yeah. A point. Oh, yeah, a point. Okay, give me a point. Coloration. Notice this is a little darker even than this one. I'd say two points on coloration. We're up to three. We have... Yeah, now, now look, at, look at the ear mobility. The mobility of the ears, it's hearing. That's two points right there. You broke this one. No, I didn't. No, that's... No. In fact, we could go through, if you want, the thickness of hair. This is definitely worth two points on the thickness of hair. Uh, we have uh, the hooves. You were admiring the hooves. Huh? Take a look at these hooves. Aren't they fine hooves? We have four hooves, four points. So as a beauty contest method, we've got it. And of course, we have the final, the Bo Derrick method. This is kind of in your heart, how the deer affects you. <laughs> on, a scale, on a scale of one to 10, I would say this is, we're doing nine close to 10. Huh? It's right. The nice part about that is beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, and we have almost a perfect 10 here. So I think I had 10 different ways here, judge and jury. John, what I, do don't you think? Th I don't think you should take him to law school today. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting dangerous. Did, did I get a good eight? What do you guys think? A good well, eight? Oh. I think, uh, you know, if you count the, the rack up and add the two holes, that's eight. Yeah. That's another See, first. there's all kinds of ways. And, and three X's. Fred, nice job on your eight. But, but Very good. <laughs> I mean, we have a, a sure-fired method the for somebody like you that yeah. really wants to stretch the limits here. This is a kit made by Olympic Tool here. This will come with it. a couple things. Oh, here. very, yeah. very there good. There you go. Here's a the tape. They put this tape. Let's take these on here. <laughs> and we'll have <laughs> one more method. There we are. Well, right there we have it. That's a good eight. That's a good eight. Well, thank you very much. I, I fulfilled my obligation. Great, Fred. And thank you, Paul. Very nice. This was outstanding. The official publication of the Practical Sportsman Club is the Wilderness Journal, a monthly outdoor publication full of news, features, and current material on hunting, fishing, and the shooting sports. Members of the Practical Sportsman receive our special insert, which has a weekly schedule of the outdoor and nature programs on public TV, our weekly fish and game recipes, a listing of trophy bucks taken last November 15th, an entry form for the Big John Fishing Awards and Deer Quest Hunting Awards. The current edition has comments about the bear referendum by Sal Ghani, Kyle Randall, and several of the people who we featured on this show in October. And if you want to read some hot letters from viewers who let me know what's on their mind, it's all in this issue. A membership in the Practical Sportsman brings you this monthly publication plus a membership in the Michigan Sportsman Congress. If you'd like a sample copy of the November issue, just drop me a line at Box 1001, Bath, Michigan 48808, and close a buck for three-day delivery.
Fred Trost's Practical Sportsman is brought to you by D.L. Kessler & Sons Construction, specializing in residential development and commercial construction since 1977, and by the financial support of viewers like you. The premier buck pole in the state of Michigan, I do declare, has to be here at Washtenaw County, Mill Creek Sporting Goods. Who has bucks up here? Anybody have any of these bucks? Here's one right here that's extremely wide. But look at this one, John. This was, Anybody know how many points this one is? 21. 21? 21. Why, oh, is that yours? It's mine. It is. <laughs> Whoa. Step right up here. What's your, what's your name? Mark Dockett. Mark, where are you from? Whitmore Lane. 21 point buck. Look at this, John. This has all kinds of brow points coming off it. What, what's the spread on it? I think uh, inside 19 and a half, outside 21. There's a 13 point. That over is there. awesome. Biggest deer you ever saw. Huh? Biggest one I ever saw. I'm kidding. Finally gave me a shot. I shot him with my muzzleloader. Oh, way to go. What's yeah. the spread on this? Uh, spread's 21 and a half. And the tines are almost a foot long. They're 11 and three quarters, 11 Holy and a half. Cow. We got to see you on Big Buck Night, man. Uh, I hope to. Hey, thank you. Way to go. Anybody else have these? I got, I got those two. You got what? I'll hold him, you guys kick him, <laughs> slap him, hit him. Jeez, I hope you got these two. Same area, yeah. yeah. 21 and a half inch spread and a 23 and a half inch spread. 12 wow. and 11 point. Wow. 12 and 11, that's 23 yeah. points all together. Yeah, that's, yeah, if you add them up, that's Yeah, right. well, we add them up. We have all kinds of ways of scoring bucks. Wait till you see the show <laughs> that we just had on, yes. Yeah. I mean, we were hunting up north, and we saw a lot of deer, but nothing. Like this, nothing. There's a tall rack, and that's a heavy rack. Heavy, heavy beamed rack on there. Well, this has been something else.